In today's tutorial, we are going to do an exercise in determining the absolute configuration of a stereogenic center according to Kahn, Ingold and Prelog. Strychnine, a famous alkaloid, is uh, well suited for practicing since it has one, two, three, four, five and six stereogenic centers. This one here with four carbons attached seems to be the most difficult one and we will try to determine its uh, absolute configuration uh, together and it's better to draw every single step of the considerations. So, let's mark it with a star. It's now about this stereogenic center with the four carbons. At this carbon, one additional carbon is attached. Here we have a nitrogen. Here we also have a nitrogen. And then here we have that benzene ring. Double bond and single bond translates into two carbon chains and an additional carbon with no further substitutes. So now we have to make a priority list and as we know nitrogen has a higher atom number compared to carbon. That means those two chains have a higher priority compared to the other two. The one with the three additional carbons has a higher priority compared to this one. This one has the lowest priority. This means we can assign a 4 for this substituent, a 3 for this substituent, and we don't know yet for those two. We have to make a further step. We just have to go on. And from this nitrogen we have this carbon. It's the same that we have already counted for the other chain. And the second one here. So what about this one? It has the bond to the aromatic carbon and for another carbon, the carbonyl carbon. Still, we cannot decide, we cannot, uh, decide which one has the higher priority. However, now, as I said, it's a carbonyl group. We have an oxygen attached here. Here it is another carbon and of course two hydrogen. This then has, of course, the higher priority. So we can assign the highest priority here and the second priority for this chain. So for different substituents, the one with the lowest priority, we should imagine that it points away from us. So we have to imagine that we move behind the white screen and then we can count from the one to the two to three. This is clockwise and clockwise is then assigned as configuration R. Counterclockwise becomes the the descriptor S. So we have an R for the center and we can introduce 
the R here. The other five stereogenic centers are much easier. Please try it by yourself. Thank you for listening.